What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Broken Tables Podcast. I'm your host, Jeffrey Vegas, here as always with my co-host, King Rome. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing pretty damn good. That is awesome to hear. And we got a special little treat for you guys here today. You know, all over the uh, YouTubes and all over Twitter, you've been getting bombarded with CM Punk returning. What's the storyline here? What's the storyline there? Who's not going to want to work with him? Who is? That's not what we're here for today. Today, we're just here to remember one of the greatest moments in wrestling history. And to be honest with you, my actual favorite moment in wrestling history, um, the first dance with uh, CM Punk returning at Rampage. So um, you uh, you ready to do this here, Rome, with uh, this special video I smashed together? Yeah, I haven't watched this yet. You've been working on it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready whenever you want. Let me know. All right, here we go. Let's go to our react screen and go ahead and play in three, two, one, go. Dude, I remember freaking out when this was aired live. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was freaking out. I waited years, you know. Ooh. Yeah, there's a moment I could watch an infinite number of times. I forgot how the crowd drowned out his music. Yeah. So, I left this in its original form right now. This is all exactly what aired. <laughs> this couldn't have been done any better. You could have had 10 tries and this was still the best. You know, this was the best it could have been. At the time, uh, even Jim Cornette was like, "Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. You can't, you couldn't have done it." Yeah, he said it's better than what I would have done. Yeah, it's not what I would have done. It's better than what I would. Something that I, I give uh, props to also on the production side for this moment is it's not like a huge deal, but AEW go down, something like a little very small nitpicky thing that they that they do is sometimes they don't let a moment breathe. Yes. And they have the commentary kind of speaking over like really big moments, but like here again, it was just perfect where where like the commentary team, all, I love all of them very much, but they just shut up for like. Like, right, that's a great point. They did let this breathe for a long time. Yeah, like they didn't like the first word with Excalibur didn't happen until like what was that? Two minutes into the entrance. Like, yeah. And like and, now is the time to talk. Now is the time to react to the moment. Um, yeah. yeah it's just an awesome. It's just a fucking awesome moment. And I love how you gave props to the uh, production team too, because uh, you know we'll get there in a second. Yeah. If Punk is here, we riot. 2,766 days. Yeah, man. Again, like, it's... it's more, Obviously, this is in Chicago. So, like, these people... Obviously, like, this is... Really oh, cool. dude. <laughs> but, like... Can you imagine being that guy? Yeah, but, like, I oh. felt... Man, I, I felt... I felt how Chicago felt. It was like, man, it was, it was seven years. Wait, seven years. All right, here we go. I like that sign in the background. I wish WWE the best in my future endeavors. (laughs) 
Look at that dude freaking out. That's the guy that's at every single dynamite. Yeah. Here's where my thing comes in. Oh shit, it's getting me. It's getting me. <laughs> was my last match in Ring of Honor and I famously came out with tears in my eyes. I knew I was leaving a place that I love and it was a home and I knew where I was going. It wasn't gonna be easy for a guy like me. August 13th, 2005, I left professional wrestling. Give me chills. Yeah. August 20th, 2021. I'm back. Oh, one more thing. On your way out of the United Center tonight, grab yourself a free ice cream bar on me. I'm back. Yeah, it was perfect. They gave everyone ice cream bars and t-shirts. Yeah. I'm really hoping some of this didn't wind up on the cutting room floor here. There's some more I remember. Okay, here we go. Ready X on the line. Let's go, everybody. Big moment in fucking TV. Let's all be proud to be here and knock them dead. Big moment in fucking TV. Nashville, wake your ass up. You're going to see some shit tonight. You're going to see some Jack shit back. tonight. Stand by to roll X. First this gets me five. so Dan, amped. Are you happy? Okay. Yeah, I, I remember six, seeing this, this bit JT where they uh, show all the production the stuff back. You can hear him breathing into his mic like this dude is adrenaline flowing. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. yeah. One, Live TV. Rolex. He's the biggest moment. Rolex. Keying off the five. Stand by your pyro. Keying off the five. This guy did not get enough credit for this. It's amazing. Stand by your effect to five. Stand by to hit your pyro. And here we go. And effect. Hit your pyro. Go. Hit Ready your pyro. Six. Take six. Go. Ready seven with bot one. And take seven. Hit bot one. Go. Read it. Ready to undercut eight. Undercut eight. No signs, Mark. Not yet. Ready, undercut four. Undercut four. Big wide. Ready, undercut five. Undercut five. One more, Brent. Start moving in. Ready, undercut seven. Undercut seven. Ready, undercut two. Undercut two. Light them up. Ready, resolve six. And ready, resolve six. He already did. Ready, resolve six. Clean. Ready, eight. Take eight under. Ready, resolve six. Clean. On camera. And resolve six. Clean. Go to him. Big wide again, Brett. Super wide. No ring. No ring. So actually, no. You can give me a little. Give me a little ring. Font one. <laughs> Read it. Ready to lose the font. Lose the font. Ready to dissolve seven. And 
Dissolve seven. Ready eight. Take eight. Ready five. Take five. Ready four. Take four. Ready eight. Take this shit gets me so hyped. Seven. Take seven. Go. Take seven. Go. Dude, hearing that guy's emotion like brings it out more. I like this. <laughs> so good. Dude's got the coolest job in the world. A little upset about whatever happened there. Start moving up. Dissolve six. Ready to dissolve ten. Dissolve ten. Get in there, baby. Get in there, baby. Ready eight. Pick eight. Ready ten. Pick ten. Good shit. Good shit. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah baby. baby. Great Ready shot. Six. Pick six. Ready ten. Pick ten. So awesome. Just yeah. stay out of the shot, Mark. So I don't want ready three. Take three. Ready to dissolve seven. Dissolve seven. I don't remember how much there's left anymore. Ready to dissolve two. Ready to dissolve six. Dissolve six. Arc it, baby. Real tight, Brent. On the end. about it because they go to commercial two. break after this. Dissolve two. Yeah. Six. Five. Four. We're going to black. Three. Two. One fade to black. Oh man, that was so good. I that was one of the greatest moments in wrestling history. My favorite moment of all time. 
Only thing that comes close is Stone Cold beating Shawn Michaels and freaking uh, Mike Tyson counting the pin one, two, three as when I was a kid. Like, that's the only thing that even comes close for me. I mean, yeah, that that's that's the moment, man. That's that's the prover- proverbial moment of like why why you why you fall in love with wrestling. It's just Ugh. it's a it's a it's a moment in time that y- there's so much that gets to that moment that it, it you know it's it's the it's the pinnacle of a of a weight. It's the pinnacle of an of an odyssey of an adventure of you know. <laughs> His his entire run, obviously in WWE, and you know, he talks about leaving pro wrestling when he left Ring of Honor in 2005, and uh, and then him, you know, leaving for seven years. It's yeah, it's a culmination of a moment, and I mean, obviously, the moment itself is special, but absolutely, the, the production itself is also exquisite. It, it just uh, incredible. Absolutely. Oh, that was freaking awesome. So, you know. Little tidbit of news. Seems like we may be getting CM Punk back sometime in, uh, what is it, June that they're going to be back in Chicago? So that's the idea. Uh, a report came out uh, from Andrew Zarian last night that someone in, people at Warner Brothers Discovery have been notified that Punk's coming back. Woo, let's go. Let's go. All I can say is Punk did nothing wrong. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed that video. I put a little bit of work into that. You know, nothing crazy, but that that just that's it's an awesome video there. Uh, our tribute to uh, CM Punk and his first return. I can't wait to be making another video soon on his uh, second return. So that should be good. You got anything else you wanted to add? No, no, I'm I'm good. You know, enjoyed the moment, enjoyed the video. It's always nice. Uh- absolutely thank you very much well thank you guys for uh, joining us watching the video here please let us know what you think down in the comments hit that like button hit that subscribe button and most of all join us here on wednesday night for our aew dynamite uh review right after dynamite we'll be live at uh what is that 10 10 05 we go live yeah 10 till then we will see you guys later peace